What's going on YouTube? My name is ADC Art Attack. His name is Bob, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Professional Artists vs. A Children's Coloring Book. Whoa. <coughs> That's a difficult name to say. I've got to lean forward and zoom in a little bit here. Hello. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a bit closer. This is the series where I, ADC Art Attack, attempt to colour in a children's colouring book in a professional style. Good luck with that. The purpose of this series is I want to show you that colouring books are not just for children. They are a serious art tool for anyone who's aspiring to get into colouring or just wants to be creative. Never be afraid to just pick up a colouring book and jump right into it. Although it seems I've been afraid because it's been a long time since I've done an episode. Sorry about that. So what are we doing today? <laughs> Well, for today's video, we're going to be revisiting a colouring book that we haven't seen on this channel in quite some time. This! Remember it? This is the Multicolor Disney colouring book by... Multicolor. Or is it... You know, I don't actually know. But this is a colouring book you should remember from one of my earliest episodes where we coloured Simba and his... Piggy friend, what's his name? Pumba. Pumba? But yeah, so this coloring book featured in one of my earliest episodes and my most popular episode of this series. So I am very excited to take a look back into this one. This is actually a different copy. I don't want to do the same book with the same coloring. I like to stick to like one coloring per book. So yeah, it's just a, I think it's an exact copy. But we're going to take a look inside this book right now, see what's inside this book and pick out a, another image that we can draw color today. Should probably just get on with that because this is just the worst. <laughs> So here is the Disney Multicolor Coloring Book, and on the front cover right here, we can see an image of Mowgli and Baloo. A very simplistic cover here. By the way, these guys are from the Jungle Book, if you didn't know. And yeah, it's a very simplistic cover. It actually doesn't tell you what this is. You don't really get any idea what this book is supposed to be. And flipping it over, kind of the same story, really. We've got a picture of Simba and um, Lady Simba. Does anyone know? what her name is. Huh, I only paid one euro and 99 cents. Pretty cheap. But yeah, nothing to really speak of here. We have a very plain cover on the back and a very plain cover on the front. So let's flip it open and see what we got inside. <laughs> ah, I remember this. So basically this coloring book has a different theme to many other coloring books in that we have ourselves a reference for the images going forward. Yeah. <laughs> But of course, whatever image we choose today, we are not going to be using this reference to color. We're not going to try to mimic this reference, but we are going to use it as a guide, as it is intended to be used. So this is a really, really nice feature that these coloring books have in that we get this image because, yeah, I don't remember what they look like. So let's have a little flick through this book and see if we can find an image that we would like to color today. Ah, remember this one? If you haven't seen this video, you should definitely check this one out because this was a really exciting coloring book episode. I really did like this one. Hang on. That is not that. It has a different face. I wonder if there's any more mistakes like that in this book. They did it again. Who is you? Wait, they did the same to him? What is happening here? Ooh, Ooh I like that. I'm, do I'm doing this one. So okay then, it seems that I found myself an image I really want to color. This looks absolutely fantastic. I love the sort of, the size of it, the way that it looks, it looks dynamic. It looks like we can do something really special with this image right here. And we do again have ourselves a really somewhat simplistic uh, reference right here, but the coloring is quite nice. This rock is, I mean, it's, that's boring. I'm, I'm just gonna start, I'm gonna start coloring. Let's go. Oh. Alrighty, so before we get started with the coloring, we are presented with a fantastic opportunity here to be a little bit more creative. Now, it is totally cool to jump right in and begin coloring right now, but hey, the hard part is done, the drawing. So why not take full advantage of this situation and use this chance to practice your details, further add to this image to make it your own, unique to you. But of course, in doing this, you do remove one of the main advantages of a coloring book, that being perfectly dry ink that will never smudge. So while doing this is cool and awesome, it can be skipped if you want complete confidence and freedom with your coloring. 
So as you see here, I added minimal details because I want that freedom that coloring books provide. But in my head, I've planned out what I'd like to add when using the colored markers. Side note, the workaround to adding smudge free lines is to get these Graphit B markers. You see, they have a fine point on one of the ends, so you can add details and color over them without any smudging. The only downside being they are alcohol based, which means there might be some bleeding in some smaller areas. Anyway, let's get started with the coloring. Now, the first thing I want to keep in mind with the process here is that they have supplied a reference. Respectfully, I will use this, but I won't copy it. So the colors themselves, we will try to match up, but some alterations will be made to achieve a personal desired effect. And when you are doing your base colors, you really want to be careful not to go too dark. It is a lot more challenging to correct a darker mistake than a lighter one later on. But once you get your base layer down, you should at this point be getting a feeling. An idea on how you want to approach this, but more importantly, the paper quality. How does it feel? And what we can see right here are some major, major concerns with this paper, and I'm actually a little bit nervous going forward. You see, the paper has these awful speckles, but silver lining? I think that if we can avoid hiding them, instead using them, then perhaps they'll act as a highlight for the individual hairs. It's not the worst idea. Let's find out. So I guess here is where we can truly say the hard work begins, but it doesn't have to feel like work. The scariest part of coloring is having an idea and executing that to paper. So I say, why have an idea in the first place? If that's what's causing you fear, remove it. This is how I approach every one of my pieces that I do. Now sure, there is a general sense of where I wish to end up, but I never plan more than two steps ahead. How will these two colors work? And from there, we can add whatever we feel in the moment. My personal favorite thing to do is to put on some music and just go with the flow. Let the music go through me and just color while I listen to my favorite songs. Art should be an extension of you. It should be an expression from you. And I think thinking about it too much can really ruin that effect. So try not to think too much, try not to worry too much and just jump right in. Now it is probably a good idea to have some reference points on hand while you create this. This will relieve your mind of thought and planning and provide you a bit of a safety net at any moment of hesitation. A quick glance over at the image and you'll be back in the swing of it. And there is something I'd like to clear up here. Having a reference is not a bad thing. It just makes you human. You don't need to copy it, just use it for inspiration. But if you want to copy, go right ahead and do that. Don't worry about other people's opinions, just be sure you are having fun. That is the main purpose of doing artwork is to have fun. Unless of course you're selling the product, in which case don't copy and steal other people's work. That's that's a bad thing, don't, don't do that. Now we've actually made some pretty good progress so far, but I've learned a lot about this paper and my capabilities. So I've been actually holding back on the details quite a lot. The markers in this paper are just not working too well together. So I've decided that later on, we will use some pencils to further enhance our details. But this, this face is gonna be a real problem. You see, when I said the paper and the markers weren't getting along too well, well, what I meant was, there's a fair bit of bleeding occurring. This makes small controlled areas pretty tough to get right. But when I say this area is small, I meant it. <laughs> Main time. I've actually been really looking forward to this bit. Call me crazy, but I enjoy a challenge. You never really know what's going to happen. So let's see what's going to happen. Seriously, this is so difficult. I've been doing this for so long and I don't feel like I'm making much progress on the hair. That was actually all right. Doesn't look too bad. I'm happy. Are you happy? Moving on. So how about we use some pencils to clean this up a bit? The pencils I'm using here are my Arteza pencils by Arteza. These are fantastic pencils, but the paper just says no. It just isn't happening. The light colors are pretty useless, which is very unfortunate. I was really hoping to elevate this piece further and honestly, I was sort of relying on it. I held back a lot with the markers in hopes that these pencils were going to 
you know, help. So I did what I could. Nothing really special here. There's a lot more I'd have liked to have done, but I am happy with the progress so far. So what I'm going to do right now is complete this piece, add the coloring to the rock, and perhaps just for you, I'll put a background behind him. If you've watched this far into the video, you deserve it. So I'm going to create a background just for you. Well, here it is everyone. Here are the results of today's episode of the Coloring Book series. What do you think about it? Do you like it? Let me know in a comment down below because I really do like this piece. You know, we had some really difficult hurdles to get over during this entire piece, which we'll go into in just a moment. But hey, let's have a look at where we started, which is a pretty boring image, but it is actually a really good starting point. I got to give this coloring book some props there. Having a look at their reference example, not so bad, it's pretty basic coloring, but hey, that looks like Simba. And then onto my attempt at coloring this piece. I'll be honest, it, it does look pretty cool when you do it like that. You know, we did have a few problems along the way with this piece. Uh, one of the big ones being the paper itself. The paper quality was not fantastic by any means and did cause some issues, especially with layering the coloring pencils, which was a major problem for me as I went through this piece because I did hold back a lot on my marker coloring in hopes that I'd be able to add some extra details using the pencils. With that not being the case, we were left with something that is still quite special and something I really do like but it is lacking a lot more of those fine details that I would have liked to have added. The inclusion of a background was a no-brainer. I had to add the background, and of course, I was going to be using the iconic scene where Mufasa presents himself to his son. Oh, that's, that just seems so wrong. This was a beautiful scene, and I wanted to pay tribute to that scene with this piece, and I think that's what art is all about, paying tribute and just showing those emotions through it, and it actually made me feel something. It was quite a special piece of artwork, and I really am happy with the results here today. I do hope you all like them as well. Well, there you have it, everyone. The video is complete. What did you think about it? Did you enjoy it? And most importantly, did you learn something new here today? If you did, then a like rating on this video is always appreciated. But most importantly, if you do find the courage or just the passion to go and try some coloring books of your own, then please tag me in those results on social media, ADC Art Attack on both Twitter and Instagram. And of course, if you do make a video on it on YouTube, feel free to tag me there as well. Well, that is all we have time for today. My name has been ADC Art Attack. His name is Bob. And we look forward to seeing you all again in the next video. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye. You know, the more I look at this, the more I like it. It's, um, it's pretty good.